Hello and welcome. Welcome to an hour of chair yoga. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're going to be focusing on guiding ourselves through the movements with breath and making sure that we're checking in and noticing what it is that we need from that moment. So rather than listening to me, listening to yourself and choosing what works with your body, not against it. Rest whenever you need to, take water, adjust and adapt the movements to suit your body. You may do less repetitions. You may do more repetitions. Change it up for what works for you. There's no wrong way of doing this. And let's get started. The chair you're on, making sure that it's, <clears throat> excuse me, that it's stable and comfortable. Maybe you want to sit into the back of your chair for support or sit away from it to support your own spine. You get to choose. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. Pick up the toes, spread them nice and wide. Or imagine spreading them wide. You can even pick up the balls of your feet if you like, wiggle and waggle a little bit. And then lay the soles of the feet down, toes nice and soft and relaxed. Take all of your awareness down to the soles of your feet and a great way of doing that is softening the gaze, lowering the gaze or closing the eyes. Whether you've got shoes or socks on or bare feet, pay attention to the information that the soles of your feet are giving you. Notice the connection down to the support underneath you. Notice the textures, maybe even the temperature. Evenly through both feet together, start to increase the pressure, push down into the feet, keeping the toes soft, so pushing into the heels and the balls of the feet. And wake up the muscles of the legs, just a little, about 5%. And then allow that pressure to ebb away and soften. This just gives us a really good foundation and connects us down to that support underneath us. Take your awareness to where your seat meets the chair and we'll do the same thing. You can wiggle and waggle from side to side, readjusting yourself. And then when you're ready, take a big breath in. On an exhale, allow the upper body weight to really sit deep into the pelvis. Relaxing and releasing. Sitting as evenly from the left to the right sitting bone as you can, although we're left to right hip. So everything from the foundation, from the pelvis downwards is supported. And then from there, as if someone just took a zip from your pelvic floor up through the spine, sitting a little taller. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky as if you're being held up by the finest of threads. Rolling those shoulders a couple of times back and down. And then settling the shoulders when it feels comfortable for you and broadening across the collarbones. So we snuggle the shoulder blades just softly in towards each other behind the heart. And here we are in a mindful posture, noticing if stacking your shoulders over your hips feels okay for you. We'll take a big breath in together. And on an exhale, allow stiffness and softness to soften away from your body. Make any small or big adjustments in the next breaths to allow this mindful sitting position to work for your body. A 
with this mindful posture, if you haven't already, soften your gaze, close your eyes. And start to let go of your day, your week so far. We become very present, feeling the floor and the seat underneath us. You might even notice the temperature of the air on your skin, the feel of your clothes. And all of this sensory connection is bringing us back to this moment. You might notice the sounds around you. You might notice the sound of your breath. Become aware of how it is you're doing in this moment. No judgment, just being curious what arises. Notice what's on your mind. Again, simply watching what comes up. Not needing to fix or shift anything or change anything. Just observe, even label. Hmm, my mind is thinking about blank. Slide your awareness to where you're most connected to feelings and emotions and be curious, noticing what emotions are present for you this morning or this afternoon or this evening. Starting to notice your body, noticing places that feel tender or tight. Relaxing any tension as best as you can and adjusting your body to accommodate more comfort. And starting to pay attention to the breath and the body and the body responding to the breath as it expands and contracts as the breath comes in and out. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you today and if it's not done, breathing in an easy way for you. Starting to deepen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. And steadying that breath out all the way in and all the way out as best as you can. Smoothing the breath. With the steady and smooth the breath, let go of any forcing or straining. So the breath becomes manageable and sustainable. And get comfortable and familiar with this rhythm, the coming and going of the breath, the smoothness that you've created. And let's root down through our feet and seat and rise once again through the crown of the head, softening the shoulders and broadening across the collarbones. And still we're connected to that steady breath. This is the 
breath that we'll keep coming back to today. On the inhale, lifting the chin just a little, lengthening through the back of the neck so we don't just compress. On the exhale, let's tuck the chin down towards the chest. Allow this movement, lifting and lowering of the chin to start small. As you start to notice and feel into the neck, the throat, the shoulders, the upper back, working within the breath, never holding the breath. A great way to really tune into sensation is to soften the gaze or close the eyes. Let's take another two or three more movements in your own time, working with the breath. Staying for that last exhale and then coming all the way back through center. Let's take the gaze over towards the right side and mirroring you, of course. This is the inhale and the exhale. Dip the chin down towards the chest and up the other side. Slow, steady movements guided by the breath. And again, a great way to tune into how the body's feeling is to close the eyes or lower or soften the gaze. Notice if you're straining a particular area and see if you can do a little less there, allowing the body to open up in its own way without forcing. Next time the chin comes down towards the chest, we'll leave it there and lift the crown of the head up. Stay connected to the breath if it left you. And then we'll lift up through the right ear, lengthening through the right side of the neck, coming back through center and then lifting up with the left ear. Keeping the shoulders even and heavy. If this feels enough in the back of your neck, then please stay collarbones wide or you can dangle those arms down. That's gonna give a little bit more pressure as the weight of the arms draws the shoulder down as we lift one ear and then the other, finding that length through the side of the neck. Mm -hmm. After the next one, we'll come back through center. Sitting with those shoulder blades back towards each other just a little, we're gonna jut the chin out. And then on the exhale, without shifting anything in the torso, we're gonna draw the chin in as if you're trying to make as many double chins as you can, drawing the base of the skull back in space. Inhaling, jutting the chin, and exhaling, drawing it back. Mm -hmm. Let's do two more there, staying connected to the breath if it drifted off. And after the last exhale, we'll come back through center, releasing those shoulders. Keep those arms dangling down if they weren't there already. And then we'll circle both shoulders together, inhaling round and up, exhaling round and down, whichever direction it is that you're going in. And maybe those arms like to dangle nice and heavy, easy joints, or maybe you like your elbows involved. There's not a right or wrong way here. We're just moving through the shoulder girdle, trying to smooth it out just like you smoothed the breath. Stay connected to that breath length and the breath guides the movement. At the end of that exhale, let's pause and then take those circles around in the opposite direction whenever you decide. You can take rest, of course. And let's take three more in your own time, noticing how you experience this. You might notice different areas of your body that you're aware of. More or less, one more to go. Mm -hmm. And then coming back through center, rooting to rise, that broad chest, turning the palms out, bending from the elbows to start with, inhaling the fingertips up towards the shoulders, exhaling, turn the palm down and away. Doesn't matter which angle this is happening at, 
So maybe the hands are more in front of you than the side. Just bending into the elbows. You can stay here if this feels good. We'll start to move from the shoulders. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Palms down on the exhale, up on the inhale. Maybe those hands come towards shoulder height. Maybe they come a little higher. Maybe they connect up towards each other above you. Three more. Reaching at the top of that inhale, if the fingertips come up above the head, you might feel that length through the spine, through the side waist. One more here. Mm -hmm. When those hands come down, that left hand is going to stay. The right hand is going to come up, maybe even over. Left hand can support you on the side or leg of the chair. Let's stay on that right side for now. Finding that length through the right side of the body, right hip stays connected down, so we're not lifting. And let's take three more here. Connect to the breath length, allow the breath length to guide you. Adjust anything to suit and work with your body. We've got one more here and then we'll go to the left. Leaving that right hand down, dangling, or connecting to the chair, the left arm comes up, maybe even over. Don't be surprised if this side feels very different from the other side. Keep that left hip connected down to the chair so we're not lifting the pelvis to find a little more tilt. Three more here. Be gentle with yourself, generous with the breath, Two more, rest if you need. You get to monitor what happens to you and how you adjust things to feel more comfortable. Let's take that left hand down. We're all put together very differently. Hands come back to support any intuitive movement you need to release tension. Go ahead. And we connect back to that breath if it left us. Sitting away from the back of your chair, even if it's just a centimeter or two, can help as we come down through flexion and extension of the spine. Rooting down into your feet and rising from there. That breath is still guiding us. On the inhale, let's draw the hands back as we arch the back, drawing the front ribs forward. On the exhale, back of the ribs, Try to curve into the back of the chair as the fingertips come forward. Inhaling, the chin can lift, lengthening through the back of the neck. Exhaling, the chin can dip as we round. As much or as little movement as you like. On the inhale, you can imagine dragging the heels of the feet back towards the chair as you send the tailbone out behind you. Anterior tilt, exterior tilt, tucking the tailbone, sitting onto the back of the pelvis as you root down through the feet. Inhaling and exhaling. Only as much or as little as feels good to you. From here, if you'd like to add into the arms, that's our diagonal arms. So on the inhale, Right arm goes top, left arm goes bottom, and you reach back in space. We're getting this dynamic tension over the front of the body. On the exhale, let's send those fingertips towards each other in front. Inhaling, opposite side, left arm up, right arm back, down. Now this can be a very gentle movement, soft through the joints or you can extend and reach as much as feels good to you, kind of like a big good morning stretch, you get to choose. There's not one right or one wrong way. If you're reaching, reach also through the fingers and thumbs there, so the hands are also getting that length. Let's take four more breaths or rest if that feels better for you. Keep connected to the coming and going of the breath, the rhythm that is guiding you. Two more here. Mm -hmm. Last one here. And then we come 
back through center, dangling those arms down. Let's take those hands into a soft or tight fist and just circle around the wrists. If your elbows are getting involved, draw the elbows in towards the ribs and isolate the movement through the wrists and forearms. And then we'll pause and take it in the opposite direction, regulating the breath. Mm -hmm. Always paying attention to how your body feels and adjusting things when you notice the body needs accommodations. Wiggling those fingers that send the fingers out really wide. And then very slowly, as if in slow motion, curl in the hands to as tight to fists as you can. And then we'll inhale, stretch those fingers and thumbs out. And then curl them in. One more here. Curling it in. And then let's shake those hands out. Nicely done. Let's take that right arm out and then back, opening up through the shoulder. We've already done this. And we'll sweep that right arm over to the left. Now you see how my shoulder's way up by my ears. I'm gonna roll that shoulder back and down so my collarbones are broad, and then draw in that right arm towards the chest, opening up through the shoulder. Wiggle those fingers, any numbness tingling in the fingers or hands, then you're going to release this. Stay connected to the breath, reach with those fingers. And after your last exhale, we're gonna release that. Left arm sweeps round and open, and then we're gonna do the same thing, other side, draw it across the body. Roll that left shoulder back and down so the collarbones are broad and draw the arm in. And you might feel this over the back of that shoulder. Again, any numbness, tingling that happens in the hands, please release. We are breathing here, connected to that breath. And that left shoulder is drawing back and down. One last breath. And then we'll release the arm. Hands come back to support and we'll come into our twist. So we're rooting to rise, readjust yourself on your chair should you need to. A little bit of space behind us is great as we get into that spinal rotation. Connecting back to the breath. Nice and steady and as smooth as you can make it. I'm gonna to twist to the left. So on the inhale, we lengthen through the spine. On the exhale, right hand and shoulder forward, left hand and shoulder back and coming back through center. You can take the gaze to the left or over that left shoulder or keep the eyes soft, lowered or closed. And we're never forcing the body. So if your hands are gripping a lot, see if you can let the hands simply slide to places that they're comfortable. Great place to be. You want to add in with the arms. I'm gonna bend those elbows, keep them in front of us as if you're trying to stop me from talking. This is the inhale. On the exhale, as if pushing something heavy through water, send those fingers out to the left as you gaze to the left or over that left shoulder. Let's take two more here. Elbows can be extended or bent. And then we'll come back through center, hands resting, coming to the right side, connecting back to the breath. Inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, twisting. And we'll let's begin. This is the inhale on the exhale, twisting gently to the right, left shoulder forward, right back, coming back through center. Never forcing a twist, keeping the pelvis and everything below the pelvis connected down to the earth. You can keep the interior gaze or take that gaze over the back of the shoulder, getting into the neck. Great place to stay. If you want to involve the hands, we take those hands to the same position. This is the inhale and the exhale, pushing as if something heavy over to the um, right side here. Inhaling back through center and twisting. Mm 
And then we'll come all the way back through center. Big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from here, sitting back into the chair, if you need more support as we're coming forward, hands resting on the thighs. Now we're hinging from the hips, kind of like a door hinge, rather than a curling over of the spine. This is the inhale, hands resting, bend the elbows and coming forward. Belly draws in so we're not overarching the back, collarbones are wide, inhaling shoulders over hips. Great place to figure out if you feel stable, if you need to slide back into the chair. Option to come forward, keeping the hands there or forearms. This is where you may want to adjust the width of your foundation, your feet. And belly draws in once again, kind of drawing it back so we're not overarching the spine. Great place to stay. Or we're gonna come into this forward fold twist. So the right hand comes to the left thigh or fingertips. And then that left hand slides back by the chair, the hip, or maybe even behind you on the chair. This is the inhale on the exhale. Let's twist towards that left side. Left shoulder draws back. Right shoulder comes forward. That left hand can be beside you. It can even come to rest on the lower back or it can connect to the back of the chair, depending on the kind of chair you're on. Glancing over that shoulder. The option here is to keep that right hand or arm where it is or slide the right hand, wrist, forearm, even elbow towards the left leg. If that's the case, you can turn that right palm up as if you're holding something precious in it. And we breathe, three breaths here, finding the length, the belly draws in. Every exhale, we're deepening or softening that twist. Staying for the last exhale. And then we're drawing that right hand back in place, left hand draws forward, and here we are through center. Take a few breaths here and coming to the other side. So from here, left fingertips reach towards the right thigh, right hand comes to wherever is comfortable for you. This is the inhale, belly draws in, collarbones wide. Exhale, right shoulder back, left shoulder comes forward. Going to a place where you feel comfortable keeping that steady breath. And the option is to slide the left hand, wrist, forearm, even elbow to the right leg and deepening or softening your twist. We've got three breaths here. Keep the breath steady and um, smooth. Long spine. Staying for more or less one more exhale. And when you're ready, the hands come back through center. Hands resting on the thighs and we'll inhale, shoulders over hips. Take a big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. And then from here, we're gonna take those feet a little wider. Now the less support you need, the more forward you'll be sitting on your chair, the more support you want, you'll slide back into your chair. Feet under the knees. Don't worry about how extended that external rotation is. Be in a place that is sustainable. So you can hang out here for a while. We root to rise. Give yourself permission to adjust things without any judgment, without, oh, I wish it was a little bit, or I wish I could um, hang out here a bit further, or last week it was a little easier for me. Just honor your body where it is today, and the breath will be smooth when you do that. I'm gonna bend that right arm, left hand is on the top of the left thigh. And then on the inhale, we're gonna draw that arm back in space. We've already been here a little bit. So we're drawing that right shoulder blade in towards the spine behind us. And on the exhale, keeping ourselves um, tall and steady, drawing the fingertips towards the inner left groin or thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. So we're just getting into the shoulder a little bit. Bringing a rotation in here. You can come back to any of these bus stops more is definitely not better. On the inhale, left shoulder comes forward as the right arm comes back. 
and we're tapping a little bit closer towards the knee. So right shoulder forward, left back. So we're getting a little rotation there. Now, if you're feeling in any way dizzy, either take a few breaths, come back to stillness, or keep the gaze focused forward instead of drawing it with the arm. Option, and we've already been here today, adding that right arm up and back, again, that rotation. On the exhale, draw the belly in, round and tap towards the knee. So now we're anchoring down that right hip and getting across the back body on that right side. Inhaling, opening, we're opening up through this diagonal line. And on the exhale, we're getting across the diagonal line on the back body. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's take another three here, keep the breath Steady and smooth, adjust the movement to work with your body, not against it. Be gentle with yourself. One more here. And then we'll come all the way back through center. Any intuitive movement you need to release tension, go ahead. Big breath in. Exhaling it out. Nicely done. Other side, please adjust yourself so it feels stable in case if anything shifted or you've decided that a different posture is better for you. Left arm bent, arms in a kind of jazz hand there. On the inhale, let's draw the shoulder back in space. So we're getting into the shoulder we've done a lot on. Exhaling, keeping the torso upright, we're going to tap towards the inner right groin. Inhaling and exhaling. Just noticing how this feels. Adjusting the height of the arm or what feels best for you. And then the add-on is that gentle rotation. Gentle to start with. Inhaling, left shoulder back, right forward as we come into that twist. And still the torso is lifting up towards the ceiling. The add-on here is extending that left arm up and back. And we've got an extension through the spine. So the heart is lifting here. We have a little arch in the back. On the exhale, draw the belly in and tap towards the inner knee or even further down. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep the breath connected to the movement. Listen to the sound of the breath. Smooth it out. You've got another three to go. Allow this to work for you and with you. You get to choose... And if resting is better for you, please rest. If not, we've got one more to go. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back through center. Big breath in, exhaling it out. And then from here, we'll draw those knees in towards each other and just wash the knees side to side. After that external rotation, that probably will feel pretty good. Rooting down to rise. Come back to the rhythm of your breath. Smooth and steady it out. And do a little check-in, noticing how you're doing, your body, your mind, your breath, any emotions that are there. And from here, we're halfway. Let's come down to the earth for the last half. Bring with you everything you need. And if you want to bring the earth up to you, then lying down on a bed or a, a dirty reclined chair or on a couch, if that's better for you, please do that. Bringing with you everything you need for final relaxation, extra layers, etc. And I will see you down on the floor. Here we are down on the earth. Let's take it all the way down to our back if you're not there already, making sure that you have all the support you need. If having your head all the way back strains your throat, please take a folded firm blanket or towel under the head just to the top of the shoulders so your head and neck is supported. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And then pick up the hips, shift them a little closer towards your heels. That way we lengthen the spine. And then drop one shoulder blade and another back underneath you so we get this opening through the chest. 
So we're still rooting to rise even though we're lying down on the earth. Let's take a big breath in. And exhale it out. Soften the gaze or close the eyes and connect to the earth underneath you. Allowing your body and your bones to sink a little heavier into that support. Relaxing tension and tightness. And then from here, re-establish that connection to the breath as we regulate the breath in and out. Smoother and steadier breath. And as you do that, wake up the soles of your feet just like when we were sitting in the chair, pushing down about 5%. You'll feel the legs wake up, maybe even through the belly. And then release that. And then from there, drawing the belly down in towards the earth as if it could connect down to the center of the earth, engaging through the core. Let's draw that right knee in towards us. Give yourself a little hug there and just circle through the ankle. Nice and slow in one direction. Get some snap, crackle, and pops in there maybe. Spread the toes and point the toes in different places. So we're also getting into the joints of the feet. And then let's take that round in the opposite direction. Slow is the medicine here because then we get the control, the awareness and we start to strengthen and stabilize through the joints. Next time that ankle is flexed, let's keep it there. Little breath in here. Let's take the arms into a cactus or a T or even behind the head. If the elbows fall soft here, making sure the shoulders aren't way up by your ears. Draw the right knee up towards the sky so the heel is down by the seat and we're just going to get into the knee a little. So on the inhale, keeping a gentle flex in that right ankle will extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slowly curling the heel down towards the seat. Inhaling and exhaling. So we're getting into lengthening through the back of that right leg and the sole of the feet as well. Flare the toes, a little gentle flex in that ankle, but a little extra um, emphasis on the back of that right leg. If you keep that ankle soft, then um, that'll be a little less challenging. So you get to decide. Nicely done. Next time that right leg comes up towards the sky, a nice bend in that knee or towards straight, your choice. Left foot is rooted down to the earth, and that can help anchor that belly button down into the earth as we push down gently through that left leg. From here, as if with the heel of your foot, you're drawing a slow circle in the air on the ceiling, inhaling and exhaling. Then, of course, we're getting into the joint of the hip here while lengthening through the back of that right leg. Gentle, slow circle. And you might even, depending on the surface underneath you, find that gentle massage in the back of the pelvis, kind of almost drawing a clock face from the top of the pelvis being 12 o'clock, the right hip being nine, the base of the tailbone being six, and the left hip being three. Let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Nice and steady and smooth. This is not a very big movement. You can bend that right knee a little more should you wish to. Any cramping. Then you're going to come back to stillness and just bend that knee in, give it a little hug. And the next time that foot comes up towards center, we'll keep it there. If you need a little break, then take the heel down towards the seat and we'll send that right up towards the ceiling. This is the inhale. Keep the belly button down towards the earth. On the exhale, let's drop that right heel down any height 
And then slowly on the inhale, bring it all the way up. Maybe at that heel comes down to hover a little closer to the earth, inhaling up. We're anchoring the back body down though, and that left foot is there to stabilize the belly button into the earth and the core activation. Nicely done. Let's take two more here. Rooting into that left foot can lift that, those right toes a little closer towards the crown of your head or not. Mm -hmm. Next time that foot comes up, let's bend that knee, take the outer ankle onto the left thigh, and here we are in a figure four. Great place to stay. Drawing the belly button down towards the earth and pushing that right knee down and away from you, left ankle into the right thigh. Great place to be. Have a couple of options here. You can stay here and then hover the left foot and the legs are doing the work here. That left thigh is pushing into the right ankle, right ankle and knee is pushing away. And we've got that core figure four or you can use the hands to draw in that left thigh in towards your belly and the right ankle and knee is still pushing away. If you have the hands involved, please soften through the shoulders. Let the legs do most of the work here. Both feet are flexed if they're up off the earth, protecting the knee. And we're breathing wherever it is that you are. Stay connected to the breath for a couple more breaths. You can always lessen the pressure. You can always take that left foot down. And then after the next exhale, that left foot, it comes to the earth if it was lifted. And then from there, we release that right leg. Take a breath in, exhale it out. Left leg comes in, give yourself a little hug and we circle through the ankle nice and slow on that left side pointing and flexing the toes and we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction slow and steady and the next time that Ankle is flexed, let's keep it there, releasing the knee up towards the ceiling and hands come to a comfortable place. Heel is down by the seat on the inhale, let's extend the left leg up, exhaling it down. That can keep a nice bend in it or towards straight is going to get into the back of that left leg. Anchor the right foot down to draw the belly button down in towards the earth so that lower back is imprinted on the mat. And this is a great place to stay. Next time that foot comes up towards the ceiling, bent knee or towards straight, we'll keep it there. A flex in the ankle is going to increase the sensation in the back of that left leg. A softer ankle will decrease the challenge. And from here, we're going to start to create circles with the entire leg as if with the heel of the foot you are drawing a circle on the ceiling. And again, depending on the surface underneath you, you might feel that massage over the back of the pelvis in as perfect a circle as you're drawing with your heel. Keep the breath steady and smooth. That does not have to be a very big movement. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Keeping the belly drawn in so that core is engaged. And of course, we're getting through the hip as we are also lengthening through the back of that left leg. Great place to stay. If you need to take a break, please do. Next time the foot comes up, we'll keep it there. Right foot is anchored to curl the belly button down towards the center of the earth. This is the inhale and the exhale, dropping that left heel, keeping this core engagement, inhaling it slowly back up through center. Option to extend that leg a little longer, maybe hovering off the earth, 
But keeping the back body steady and stable, connected to the earth, so not arching the back here, that lower back is imprinted on the earth. Anytime you're breathing a gentle arch into the lower back, don't drop the heel quite so much. That right foot pushing into the earth can draw those left toes a little closer towards the crown of the head. And let's take another one or two. Inhaling and exhaling. And the next time that left leg comes up towards the ceiling, let's bend the knee, take the outer ankle on top of the right thigh. Great place to be, connected to the breath. Push the left ankle and knee away from you while still drawing the belly button down. Great place to stay here. If that feels very secure and the lower back is imprinted, option to hover that right foot and the left ankle is pushing into the right thigh, right thigh pushing back to whatever firmness your breath allows. Option to gather the right thigh in with your hands and we've got traditional thread the needle here. Both feet flex to protect the knee. You get to choose and we keep the breath connected to everything. So the breath is guiding us if we're holding the breath, then we need to do a whole lot less in our bodies so the breath is steady. Let's take another couple of breaths here. And then on that next exhale, we'll drop that right foot gently towards the earth and release the left leg. Walking those feet a little wider Keeping the shoulders connected to the earth, let's simply wash those knees side to side. Again, massaging that back of the pelvis, or if it feels good to you, you can roll towards one outer hip and then another, lifting the opposite hip. If that doesn't feel good to you, no need to do it. Mm -hmm. And then we're coming back through center and taking those feet back in towards each other. Taking a big breath in, exhaling it out. Nicely done. That right knee draws in towards your chest. You're going to take the flat of your right hand onto the top of the thigh, close to the knee, and then push the knee away from you. Ankle can be down by the seat or lifting up towards knee height. Use the left foot to draw the belly button down. Roll the right shoulder back and down and start to increase the pressure on that right hand to thigh, thigh into hand. Keep the breath going. Four, five four, three, keep the breath connected, two, and one, releasing that pressure, right foot comes down, left foot lifts, left, left palm into thigh, belly button draws down thanks to the right foot, and we start to increase the pressure, drawing that left shoulder back and down, drawing the hand, in towards the thigh, thigh into hand, lower back is imprinted and we're breathing for five, four, three, two, and one, releasing. Big breath in, exhaling it out. Option to do that again or Keeping that lower belly imprinted, let's take both knees up towards the sky, heels down or lifted towards knee height, hands come to the thighs. Now the closer the knees are towards your chest, the easier this will be, the further over the hips they are, the harder it's going to be. Draw the belly down, shoulder blades are down and then towards each other and we start to increase the pressure. Hands into thighs, thighs pull back into the hands, and we're here for five, four, 
three, two, one. Knees in towards your chest. We've got one last set. If you are on one leg, take it to the other leg. Otherwise, back in position, belly button draws down, the breath is connected. Last set here. Shoulders roll back and down, increase the pressure. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw the knees in, give yourself a little rock and roll. We'll take the feet down, shifting the hips towards the right side. Arms in a cactus or a T here, drawing the knees up and over to the left side. Right shoulder is anchored, take any support you need under the outer left leg. And if that right shoulder is grounded, take your gaze over the right shoulder. Play with how high or how low you want those knees to come. Left hand anchoring onto the right thigh or knee can add a little bit more of a grounding sensation. And we breathe. See if you can breathe with your whole body here, especially into any areas that feel tense or tight. Breathing all the way down into the belly. Relaxing and releasing tension. And when you feel ready, the gaze comes to center. Knees come up to center. Take the feet down, shift the hips back through center and over to the left. Left shoulder stays anchored here as we draw the knees up and over to the right side. Again, playing with where you want those knees to be for your body. That right hand can anchor that outer left knee or thigh. And we breathe. Gaze can come over that left shoulder. Breathing with the whole body here, especially into any tension or tightness, being honest with yourself if you need to switch or change something up. Relaxing and releasing where you can. Taking breath into tightness, bringing an awakening softness. Stay for as long as you like. Or we'll draw the gaze up through center, knees come up through center, and then we'll replace our pelvis back into a neutral place. Drawing the knees in, you can rock and roll a little bit from side to side. Any last movements you want to end your practice, maybe happy baby, maybe there's some more movement you want in your body. And when you feel ready, coming into your version of rest, maybe the knees in towards each other, ankles wide, constructive rest or star fishing it out. You can be on your side, on your belly, making sure you take the time you need for comfort here. There is no particular shape you need. Shavasana is all about comfort in your body. So if lying down on your back spread out is not comfortable for you, then this is not about endurance. Please give yourself permission to do what it is you need for your body. Extra layers, turning down the lights and the eye pillow, all great things if that suits you. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out, slow and soft. Another couple of breaths in. Hold at the top when you're ready. And on the exhale, just release and let go. Let go of your bones down into the earth. Let go of thoughts 
about your practice and release as best as you can. Imagining your body like warm candle wax melting down into the surfaces underneath you. Softening and relaxing, especially through the muscles of your face, letting tightness and tension start to dissolve, allowing the jaw to be soft, back teeth parted, as if gravity was turned up and your bones are connected a little closer down to the earth. Releasing little pockets of tightness and tension all over the body as they come into your awareness. Inner body, your organs, joints, all the connective tissue. And you might even notice as you are aware of your body and that invitation to let go, that there are certain areas that gather tension to them. We let go and the tension creeps back. No judgment, you don't need to figure out why, just keep inviting softness into those areas. Relaxation is a shape that all of this gets integrated into our body on a cellular level. And noticing your awareness of your thoughts as the thoughts come and go and try to drift you off in different directions. And simply notice that you are not those thoughts. You are the one watching the thoughts. As you notice, huh, my mind is taking me off thinking about this thing. Hmm, and now my mind is off in a different direction over there. And you are the consciousness watching that happen. And you can stay here for as long as you like. And if you wish to stay for longer, just let my words drift over your awareness. Staying deep within that relaxation for as long as feels good for you. For those of you who would like to finish up your practice, just simply gather your awareness back into your body filling it up from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and your fingertips. Starting to notice the surfaces underneath you and how you are resting upon them. Notice the rhythm of your breath and starting to invite a little deeper breath in, a little longer breath out.
Once you start to allow those gentle, soft movements of awakening into your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, your neck, slowly, lazily. Notice how you're feeling as you move off to your practice. Allow these movements to be intuitive as you gather yourself over the next few breaths slowly into a shape that you wish to finish up your practice today. Settling into the support underneath you and rising through the heart when you're ready hands in any kind of gesture that suits you today. Gather the breath in on an inhale. Exhale, dropping the chin, the gaze slowly towards your chest and heart space, honoring yourself for being here, thanking your body for yet again serving you. I thank each of you for being here. From my heart to yours, namaste.